Okay, so today we are going to look at um, section 8.2 of our book. We're going to be talking about a z-test for a mean. So a z-test is a hypothesis test, um, and we're going to use a z-test statistic, right? So the z-test is used for the mean of a population. So if we're trying to test the mean of a population. And it can be used when either n is greater than or equal to 30, or our population is normally distributed. And we have to know the population standard deviation. Okay. And in this case, our test statistic is going to be Z test will be our sample mean minus our po the population mean that we're testing over our sampling standard deviation, which is population standard deviation over the square root of n. Okay? So we're going to start with an example. So here's our example. So this says, a researcher believes that the mean age of a medical doctor's of medical doctors in a large hospital system is older than the average age of doctors in the United States, which is 46. Assume the population standard deviation is 4.2 years. A random sample of 30 doctors from the system is selected, and the mean age of the sample is 48.6. Test the claim at a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.05. Okay. So this is example 8-3. All right, so the first thing that I do before I do anything else is I write down the things that I know. All right, so the population mean is 46, right? Population standard deviation is 4.2. We're taking a random sample of size 30, so n equals 30. And the mean age of the sample is 48.6. And my significance level is 0 0.05. Okay, so I just write the things that I know from the problem. Then I'm going to go through some steps, all right? So step one, we're going to state our hypothesis and identify the claim. So um, we've talked about this as being, this is our H naught or our null hypothesis and identify the claim. And that's our alternative or H1. Okay. So here, H0 is always going to be that there's no difference between our mean and the claim, right? So in this case, that means H0 is mu equals 46, right? We kind of already have it up here. Then our alternative hypothesis, well, let's read this. So, the, so we look for the claim. So a researcher believes the mean age of a medical doctor in a large hospital is older, all right? So that's our keyword, older, right? So since they're older, 
That means he's saying the mean is greater than 46. Okay. So it's important for this because this tells me that we're going to have a one tail test and it's going to be a right tail test, right? So step two is going to be find the critical value Right. So here, alpha equals 0 0.05, and it's a right tail test. So for our critical value, we're looking for the Z score. This is Z crit. So that this area out here is 0 0.05. So that means you go to the interior of your Z table and you look for an area of 0 0.05 and you find the associated Z score. So in this case, that's going to be 1.65. Um, right? If you're still struggling with finding that, uh, definitely come see me. Okay. Step two, or step three, sorry, step three, is compute the test value. Well, we said we were in a Z test, so, and we already talked about our test value was gonna use this formula, right? So Z equals X bar minus mu over sigma over the square root of N. So we just fill in everything we know. So we know X bar is 48.6. We know mu is 46. Sigma is 4.2. And our N is 30. So I recommend that you take a minute and plug this in your calculator. Make sure you know how to plug this in. You can pause the video to do that. All right. So hopefully you pause the video and now you have your answer, which should be 3.39. Okay. There's that. All right, so now step four. So step four, we have to make a decision. I think I'm it here. So step four, make a decision. All right, so basically you compare our Z test to our Z crit, right? So our Z test is 3.39 and our critical value is 1.65. So this is greater than that, which means if I look at this, this 3.39 is out here on the right hand side. It's somewhere out here. So this means we have to reject our null hypothesis because our test statistic is in the critical region, okay? Step five, we just need to interpret. So there is enough, oops, evidence to support the claim that the average age of the doctor in the system 
is 